Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make 3D pop-up effect in Photoshop. And also we will dive deeper into duplicating of layers, creating a frame, creating a shadow frame, applying clipping mask, selecting subject, masking subject, and desaturating background. So let's get started! <laughs> So here in our document, I got here an image where we're going to apply the 3D pop out effect. So the very first step we're going to do here is we're going to create two duplicate layers of our background layer. So to do that, going onto the layers panel with the background layer selected, I'm going to press Ctrl plus J to create a duplicate and create another one. Press Ctrl plus J. There you have it. Now the next step here is I'm going to hide the background layer. And also that, we're going to rename these two layers. So the first one will be the base subject. And the other one here, okay, let's name this one as our top subject. And there you have it. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Going back. Now, the next step we're going to do here is we're going to create a frame. But before we do that, we're going to hide first the top subject. Moving on, now we're going to create a frame. So to do that, with that base subject layer selected, I'm going to the toolbar and find the rectangular tool. So this one is the rectangular tool for you for the shortcut key. So just click on it. So once you click that, let's go to the options on top for the fill. I'm going to set that to color black. For the stroke, I'm going to set this one to no color. Something like this. All right. And now once set, I'm going to click and drag to make a rectangular shape on our image. There you go. And by the way, what is this rectangular shape for? This will serve as our frame on the ground. Now the next step here is we're going to bring out the transformation command. Okay, so to do that, with this rectangle layer selected, press Ctrl plus T. Okay, so now we may now start adjusting this. Right click on it and then choose distort. Okay, so I'm going to drag those points, something like this. All right, so I will do this one to create a flattened frame on the ground. Okay, now we're good with this. Now we're going to press Enter. Next step here is we're going to create a duplicate layer for this for its shadow. So to do that, select the that rectangle one, press Ctrl plus J to create a duplicate layer. And then this two layer, yes, I'm going to click this one and then press Ctrl and click the other one to make these two layers selected. And I'm going to bring it under the base subject. So something like this. Okay. And now for the base, I'm going to click that with that layer selected uh, i'm going to right click on it and find the create clipping mask okay so once i did that it turns to this okay now for the rectangle copy let's rename this one as frame for us not to be confused and this one will serve as our shadow frame okay okay so from the frame layer i'm going to bring out the transformation command again press Control plus t then Right click on it, and now this time I'm going to choose warp because we're going to create something like this area of the rectangle is something like it's a bit lifted, something like this, and also to the other side. Okay, and then for the shadow, I'm going to select on the shadow frame, I'm going to lessen the opacity into around 50%. Yeah, this one 49 is fine. Okay, now we already have this image. Now, moving on to the next step. Let's make the top subject visible this time. So I'm going to hit this one. Okay, there you go. Now it's back. The, with this layer selected, I'm going to the menu bar. Go to select. Under select, choose subject. Okay, now once we already have our selection, okay, let's just zoom this one in. And then let's deselect this one in the middle. Okay, so to do that, just go to the toolbar and find the quick selection tool. And then, as you, as you have noticed, it's in the mouse cursor. It's a add sample, right? So I'm going to press Alt to make it subtract and then click it on the areas to deselect. 
those. Okay, something like this. Okay, and then now, as you have noticed, I re I released the alt. Now we may continue adding more selections on this part. So I'm pressing open bracket key to decrease the size of the quick selection tool. Okay, and let's select on this part and also this. All right. So once our selection is done, okay. So with that top subject layer selected and with that selection, I'm going to create a mask. I'm going to click the add mask icon here. Okay. So once I did that, as you see that our subject looks like it's already popped out from the frame. Okay. Now going back to the frame, I want to add some stroke on our frame here. So select on the frame layer. To do that, right click on it and then go to blending options. And this layer style dialog box will appear. Go to stroke. Click on that and click on the stroke for us to for the adjustments. Okay, so from the size, I'm going to drag this one to decrease the size, something like 24 pixels. Okay, and then for the color, set this one to color white. All right, so to create something like a Polaroid frame, and then hit OK. And now we already have this effect. Okay, now the next step here is we're going to add a background here. On the other document, I already prepared here an image of this street okay so to bring this image to that original document all we have to do is to select is go to the move tool on the toolbar or v for the shortcut key and then click and drag it onto the other document something like this so select on that background layer press v for the move tool and then something like this as you have noticed the frame is not that big so press ctrl plus t to increase the size and then this transformation command is out now let's drag those anchor points out something like this okay and this from the back of the layer i'm going to bring that under the subject frame something like this by the way i also want to put the subject on the ground so to do that we need to make a selection on it. So select on the shadow frame and then press control, add another selection, select on the other frame, select on the base subject, select on the top subject. So once they are all selected, press V for the move tool and let's drag it here in the middle of the street. Something like this. All right. Okay. And one last step for the background, I want to make it black and white. So selected on that layer one so that background okay i'm going to go to the adjustment layer icon at the bottom click on that and choose black and white and there you have it now let me show you the before and after so this one is the before and this one is the after and that is how to create 3d pop out effect in photoshop